x to the 6 equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6. And we want to find x. At first, try to find one answer for this equation. x what works? Look, the difference is 1. And if you consider 1 half, if x equal to 1 half, the left hand side is 1 half to the power of 6. Right hand side will be 1 half minus 1 to the power of 6. So it is equivalent that 1 over 64 equal to 1 half minus 1 will be negative 1 over 2 to the power of 6. We want to see is it correct or not. It will be 1 over 64 because negative 1 to the power of 6 is 1. So it is correct. It is correct. So we understand x equal to 1 half works and it helps us. Another important thing is how we can define a variable that 0 by changing variable that 0 is a root. Because x equal to 1 half if we define. 1 equal to x minus 1 over 2. So let's see what we have. From here, x will be y plus 1 over 2. So left hand side will be y plus 1 over 2 to the power of 6. Right hand side will be y plus 1 over 2 minus 1 to the power of 6. And why it is good, 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2 to the 6. And it is similar. The only difference from right hand side and left hand side is that here we have plus here we have minus and it's better to work with instead of this part so let me write y plus one half to the power of six equal to y minus one half to the power of six and zero is one answer now i want to expand but before that you should know binomial theorem but if you don't know binomial theorem is that i will write for you if we have a plus b to the power of 6 it will be a6 plus 6 choose 1 which is 6 a5b plus 6 choose 2 which will be 15 a4b squared plus 6 choose 3 which is 20 a cubed b cubed plus the next one is what 6 choose 4 15 a squared b4, let me move it, plus the next one. It will be 6ab5 plus b to the 6. Now, if I expand left hand side, it will be y to the 6 plus 6, y to the 5 times 1 over 2 plus 15, y to the 4, 1 half squared plus 20 y cubed one half cubed plus 15 y squared one half to the power of four plus six y one half to the power of five plus one half to the power of six it's left hand side this one equal to right hand side it will be y to the six the next one will be minus because one half will be negative one half it will be minus 6y5, 1 half. The next one will be positive because negative 1 half squared will be 1 half squared. 15y to the 4, 1 half squared plus 20. Plus, next one will be negative. Negative 20y cubed, 1 half cubed plus 15y squared, 1 half to the power of 4 minus 6y one half to the power of 5 plus one half to the power of 6 okay now we should simplify and we should reject the things that we have with same sign on both sides we can cancel this cancel this cancel this and cancel this. now this part if we take this to left hand side we have 12 y5 y to the power of 5 times 1 half the next one plus 20 20 40 y cubed 1 half cubed plus next one here 6 plus 6 12 
12 y 1 half to the power of 5 equal to 0 okay now let's erase here the things we don't need anymore in next step we should simplify and see the coefficients will be what so let's write 12 over 2 will be 6 6 y to the power of 5 plus 40 1 half cubed will be 1 over 8 40 over 8 will be 5 5 y cubed and the next one 12 over 32 will be 3 over 32 over 4 will be 8 y equal to 0 now here one answer is y0 and y0 means x is one half because by the definition here we have so one answer is y0 and it will be x one half we've considered that in next step if we divide both sides by y because we consider y is not zero because we've considered y is zero six y to the four plus five y squared plus three over eight equal to zero it's so much good because if you consider in terms of y squared it is a quadratic function in terms of y squared so i consider y squared here equal to for example z then if i write in next page it will be six z squared because y to the four is z squared because y squared is z plus five y squared plus five z plus three over eight plus three over eight equal to zero and now by quadratic formula we know that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and here if we use this formula z equal to negative b negative 5 plus minus square root of b squared 5 squared minus 4ac minus 4 times 6 times 3 over 8 all over 2a which is 2 times 6 the numerator will be negative 5 plus minus 5 squared is 25. 4 times 6, 24. Over 8, 3. Times 3, 9. Minus 9. All over 2 times 6. Now, here. We conclude Z is what? Z is negative 5 plus minus square root of 16. All over 12. And it will be negative 5 plus minus 4 over 12. And negative 5 plus 4 will be negative 1 over 12. Negative 5 minus 4, negative 9. Negative 9 will be negative 3 over 4. So we found these two answers. But y is what? y squared is z. And it is y squared. Okay, so let's consider y is what? First case y squared equal to negative 1 over 12 so y is plus minus square root of negative 1 over 12 so it will be plus minus i times 1 over 12 okay and x is what x is y plus one half so x will be this plus one half so it will be one half plus minus i times square root of 1 over 12 it is two answers here we have so first answer x one half two answers here we found now let's check other case y squared equal to negative 3 over 4 negative 3 over 4 then we conclude y equal to plus minus square root of negative 3 over 4 and then we can say it will be plus minus i times square root of 3 over 2. And because y is this and x is 1 half plus this, it will be 1 plus minus i root 3 all over 2. It is our next answer. Two answers here, two answers here, and one answer here.
So we found five answers for this problem. As homework, let me write a new problem. Try to solve, for example, x5 equal to 1 minus x5. And you can solve it in complex numbers, also in real numbers, and find all values of x. And you can comment your answers right below this video if you have questions or want to learn important things in algebra, combinatorics, number theory, and geometry. Important formulas that are useful in many math exams, in all math exams. Feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.